I just wanted to show you a little trick that I use when I'm sharpening. Uh, I, this is particularly for like full resolution um, files that I'm going to be printing uh, and I want to avoid halos. Um, most of the scripts or actions out there now for web sharpening already have this uh, little trick involved. Um, something I've been using for you know, over a year now, ever since I figured it out. Uh, my friend Zach actually, Zach Bright, just sent me a, an action that he uses that he's been throwing out there for people to use that does almost the exact same thing. So it reminded me um, that I wanted to make this little video for you guys. So I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to duplicate the layer here. I'm going to go to File, Other, High Pass, Filter, sorry. Um, I'm just going to apply about well, one pixel radius, and I use vivid light. Um, typically, most people use soft light or overlay, um, but I like to use vivid light, and at first it seems way overdone, um, but I can adjust the opacity now. But what I like about vivid light is that it doesn't mess with the colors. The colors that are revealed through the high pass filter are what's there. I Sometimes I feel like the soft light filter has a little bit of unwanted color shifting. Um, so I'm just going to use vivid light just because I do. But if I look really closely, I've got a lot of haloing here. If I look extra super close, I've got some haloing here because the contrast here is so great. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to select this layer. I'm going to use Command or Control A, Command or Control C. I want to select all and then copy. I'm going to go to my channels palette. I'm going to put a new alpha channel down and then I'm going to paste it on there. Command or Control V, filter, stylize, find edges, and select RGB again, deselect this one, come over here, turn this layer on, and apply that layer mask. I'm sorry, I need to go back and select that layer mask. Then apply it. And now, if we zoom in really far, and I'll turn this mask on and off, look at the difference. I'm still going to have a little bit of haloing, just because it's inherent at a high, you know, most, what you see there is actually from turning chromatic aberration off and it tends to leave a little bit of a halo but you gotta remember I'm zoomed in at 400 percent right now so it could be worse but you can see if I turn that on it's considerably better than when it's off if I turn that mask visibility on and off you can see that anything black is concealed and it's doing a very good job of concealing that edge and if you wanted to you could even Reselect this mask, select inverse foreground color to black. I'm going to hide the marching ants and I'm going to fill it with a little bit more black. And basically, it's just going to expand that selection a little bit more. And now, if I zoom out, I'll zoom in to 100% here in the foreground. And the sharpening actually looks really good and all my edges are protected. Turn that on and off. You can see like right in here it's causing some really really bright highlights on those tiny little edges but this mask just completely takes care of that. So just a quick little tip. Hopefully that'll be helpful to some of you guys that are out there printing big prints or just want really super clean images. Hope that helped.